and gentlemen, until the bottom of the hour, we're going to be joined by Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. Then I'm going to get back into the blimps being launched nationwide. They were actually launched more than a decade ago, but now they're going to officially let you know you're being watched 24-7 by blimps that operate off of solar power with ground-penetrating radar looking through your walls. Oh, yeah, the NSA isn't just going to listen to everything you do. And, of course, Congress voted uh, to, to continue the illegal spying. So that's a public certification of felonies. Uh, UK web censorship filter controlled by Communist Chinese Front Company. That's up on Infowars.com. Big breaking news. The BBC even admits that. They're, I mean, so what's the difference? Communist Chinese or the BBC? Obama DHS plan to kill peaceful demonstrators and sniper attacks. That's an FBI declassified memo. Peaceful people, just a plan to decapitate them. You know, kind of like they do in Egypt. Uh, decapitate the opposition. Uh, U.S. Army buying up, uh, up upwards of 4 million rounds of AK-47 ammo, despite the fact that they don't own any of those weapons, and that's not used by NATO to dry up the supply. And I was told that by a big supplier. We checked it out at the Federal Biz site. It's true. Homeland Security is now regulating live entertainment uh, and, 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 and rabbit magic shows. You have to get a special plan. Indiana DHS demands restaurant owner get permit to play live music. So there's just total federalization. It's not even federal. It's, it's just the corporatization, new world order. Uh, Democratic leaders, all Americans may be in communication with terrorists. So hence, no more warrants needed. See, you're all terrorists. Folks, they say if you're in communication with a terrorist, even if you don't know or give money to one or a group that does, you can be disappeared, NDAA. So uh, it's all there. That's just some of what's coming up, your phone calls. I'm going to premiere some of the uh, leaders in the Paul Revere film contest uh, in the next hour and uh, take phone calls. And then I want to get into the name of Jesus has become a dirty word in politically correct America. See, Michael Steiner's a great writer and a great compiler of factoids. That's the kind of writer I love, an American dream. But the headline should be, Incredible Authoritarianism as Christians Persecuted in America. I mean, you read this, it's like people being kicked out of college because they won't stomp on a, the, the, the name Jesus on a piece of paper as part of sensitivity training or people expelled for in their... Uh, you know, speeches they give or whatever saying the word god i mean it's just beyond soviet union uh and by the way that's why he's joining us he wrote the article role reversal how the u.s became the ussr best-selling uh, author paul craig roberts dr roberts core this uh, the former head of policy for reagan at the department of treasury and the father of reaganomics you can go to paul craig roberts.org his amazing website to find all of his stuff uh i tell you the twilight zoning of the world just gets crazier every few months when we have you on, Doc. What, what is front and center for you in the wild, abandoned orgy of, of blooming tyranny? <laughs> well, it seems to be in full blown, bloom, doesn't it? I mean, now they're demanding, um, the, the National Stasi Agency is uh, demanding that uh, all of our passwords be turned over to them as well. <laughs> I don't know why they need them. <laughs> That's fine, yeah. But they're demanding that. So I think it's just to establish that um, they're the law. Uh, there's no statutory law that lets them make this demand. Um, but we now are ruled by the executive branch. And uh, the Congress and the judiciary are irrelevant. Um, if they were to make a ruling or decision that the executive branch uh, didn't approve of, it would just be ignored. So uh, we rule by the executive branch, and what we know is the executive branch is no longer accountable. Uh, it was established in the uh, Bush regime that the executive branch is above the law as long as there's a war uh, against terror. And of course, we've been told this is a war for many ages. It won't go on uh, for a long time. So we, are, we have a Caesar. It's the entire executive branch. And any aspect or part of this executive branch can act without getting presidential clearance. They just have the power of all of them being Caesars. And so that's how we live. Now, Americans will say, oh, this is preposterous. Uh, they've not done anything to me and blah, blah. And that's true. They haven't done any, anything to most people. <laughs> Except ship your jobs overseas and jack up your taxes and make mega bankers uh, exempt and stuff. 
Yeah, yes, on the economic uh, scene, but I'm talking about the, um, I, that was done by the corporations in Wall Street. <clears throat> I'm talking about the executive branch. It now has unaccountable power, and um, so there has been a coup d'etat. You see, the United States is defined by the Constitution, and the government is constrained by the Constitution. But uh, since Bush, the government has been unconstrained by the Constitution. Um, these are all impeachable offenses. Uh, yet Obama gave the approval, or the Obama regime gave the approval uh, to the overthrow of the Constitution by the Bush regime and has proceeded uh, along the same lines. Yeah, Chris Hedges says he's doubled down. I, I would say tripled down. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. He's increased. It's gotten, uh, it, it's gotten uh, worse. And so we no longer have rights. For example, if they decide, uh, if anyone in the executive branch uh, of many consequence decides that um, a person uh, is suspicious, uh, that person can be picked up and uh, imprisoned indefinitely without any accountability to a court, a judge, no presentation of evidence. Uh, apparently, they don't even have to tell uh, your associates or your family, your friends what's become of you. And if that's inconvenient, uh, they can just uh, have you murdered. They can uh, send a Hellfire missile from a drone <laughs> and blow you up. And it's not accountable. It's not an action that has to be... Or put cyanide in your drink or poison Breitbart and then the coroner who did the autopsy. And they admitted he was murdered and say we're not going to investigate the dead coroner. Well, I'm sure there's all kinds of things that... Uh, they can do because they're not held accountable and people who try to expose them, uh, like yourself, are dismissed as conspiracy theorists who, who are crazed and, and uh, think that the government is evil. So the gullibility of the people um, is uh, one of the greatest handicaps uh, for the people retaining a constitutional order or their uh, civil liberties. And um, what's happening, in my opinion, Alex, is that the police state is more entrenched and is getting more confident. And it's so much more confident that soon exposing it uh, would have no prospect of uh, having any effect. Um, soon, even I think if the Congress were to act, it simply wouldn't have any power behind it. Because when a police state becomes very confident, it simply no longer worries about public perceptions or, or other uh, former uh, institutions uh, that had power. It just simply prevails. So I think that's what we're, we're headed into. I don't... Sure. I mean, this is the pattern of history. So let me ask you with your historical research and talking to colleagues around the world, wh where does it end? Because now the minions of government are getting more and more arrogant and are going, what, we're not accountable? Because this historically spreads downward and then everything starts getting stolen uh, because no one can, 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 can stop the criminal government uh, until things collapse. Uh, what do you see coming from this? Well, the, they've been stealing for some time. You know, the, the police, uh, they've, been, they've been various news reports of police stopping traffic on interstate highways. And uh, if you've got uh, uh, cash, uh, they simply take it. They say, well, this cash is proof that you're dealing in drugs. Otherwise, you wouldn't have this cash. And so we're seizing it because it's contraband. Um, you know, they can do just about whatever they want. We've become Mexico. Probably worse. Because, yeah, yeah. Because there, the drive, I think, is just crime and, uh, and greed. And here, I think it's even worse. There's, there's uh, an evil force behind the drive for power. No, no, exactly. I agree. This is a scientific evil, not a third world uh, oligarchy. Yeah. And, and, the, and, the, and the drive for power goes far beyond the American citizens. They want power over the whole world. <laughs> and, and we're going to be the fuel to do that. I mean, the people in an empire that's going for broke, look at Nazi Germany. It don't go too good. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, once, you know, there were for a period of the Nazis early years, uh, they could have been stopped, but all the institutions just collapsed. And, and so the power of the uh, party prevailed. <clears throat> the same thing uh, in the Soviet Union and Stalin, he was able to put on show trial all the heroes.
of the Bolshevik Revolution, uh, and even convict uh, Bukharin, uh, the, uh, who Lenin declared to be the golden-haired boy of the revolution. Uh, Bukharin was convicted of um, being a capitalist spy <laughs> and, and executed uh, in, the, in, in the prison. So once this uh, gets out of control, it's out of control, and there's no real way to put it back under control. Now, what, what I've always said in the past when we've talked is that um, the basis for the United States power is a little bit shaky. Uh, the economy is no good. Um, the, the, we've lost our manufacturing prowess. Our great cities are collapsing. I mean, like Detroit. Uh, just the other day, there was a report that uh, homes in Cleveland now are being boarded up. Uh, cities like St. Louis, once very prosperous, uh, now have 19% uh, of their housing vacant. So the cities are collapsing. Uh, the, the jobs are, the good jobs are gone. Stay there, doctor. I want to come back and, and get your prognosis and then ideas to pull us out of this. Though it appears the, the insanity of tyranny is growing. We're enjoying all the blessings, some call them curses, of a big, fat, out-of-control, corporate-run government. As we saw in Katrina, and as we are watching now in New York and New Jersey, the federal government can't and won't help you in a crisis. FEMA ran out of water and MREs in days. Electricity is still off to over one million people. The Red Cross, who is quick to beg for money, is now slow to react. Don't put it off any longer. Get prepared today. While you're on InfoWarsShop.com, check out these other great preparedness items. The Aquapod Kit lets you store up to 65 gallons of water in your bathtub. The Pocket Socket provides you with manual electricity for small electronics like your cell phone. The Life Straw is great for your bug out bag. And check out our complete line of inner food products for great tasting and nutritionally dense foods that have a great shelf life. If you are looking to secure your home in a crisis, you can order Strategic Relocations the film a great companion to the book Strategic Relocations 3rd Edition and The Secure Home by Joel Skousen. When the time to perform arrives, the time to prepare has already passed. Get prepared now, so if a crisis strikes your home, you and your family will be secure. Go to InfoWarsShop.com. Paul Craig Roberts joins us. I'm your host, Alex Jones. Again, thank you uh, for tuning in today on this Friday edition. I'll be back this Sunday live, Lord willing, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Time. And if you've done any historical research, what we're talking about here is just verified fact. This is now really the coming out of the closet of the military-industrial complex uh, owned by uh, offshore multinational corporations that are leveraging the U.S. in their takeover worldwide, but at the impoverishment of the U.S. So do we collapse like the Soviet Union? Is that the best we can hope for? Or I do see people waking up to the social contract being broken. I do see pretty much everybody, every cop I walk by in Austin says, hi, Alex, we're awake. Uh, in fact, it keeps happening live on live video shoots. Cops walk by and wave and say, hi, Alex. It happened again last night. So I'm seeing a lot of people wake up, but they feel powerless. Dr. Roberts, what, what comes out of all this? I think collapse. You know, we have uh, a huge uh, triple bubble, don't we? We have the bond market bubble, the stock market bubble, and the currency bubble, the dollar bubble. And to keep uh, all these bubbles afloat, they have to intervene in the gold market and sell naked shorts to drive down the price of gold. Uh, they have to get the rest of the world to uh, intervene in the currency markets and, and, and support the dollar. Uh, they're now trying to uh, finish these two um, so-called uh, free trade pacts, one with Asia, one with Europe. And then the real purpose of these pacts, Alex, is to, is to draw so much of the world into dollar-structured trade relationships that they have to support the dollar. So they're desperate to keep the thing afloat, but it's such a big house of cards, uh, one doesn't know that they'll be able to. If, for example, uh, 
The second uh, downturn of the current Great Recession occurs uh, this fall or this winter. Uh, they have a remedy. Uh, the unemployment will rise further. Uh, it puts uh, more pressure on the budget, which becomes larger. And they're not really uh, all that smart, uh, the people in charge. And so it could, it could be a big collapse that just they get overwhelmed by problems. And uh, they're not having as much success in their foreign adventures as they thought they would. Well, they're also certainly gearing up for collapse and from their own admissions plan to use an orderly collapse to pose as saviors and bring in authoritarianism. But instead, people now understand that they've basically been the authors of it. So I see them losing the public, doctor. That's my point. I'm really seeing signs of that. Is that positive or, or do you not agree? Uh, well, I think Americans are gullible and some of them are beginning to wake up, but you see, they already have authoritarianism. They don't need to have a collapse to impose it. They've already done that. The Constitution is a scrap of paper. It has no more authority. There has been a coup over our form of government, as you wrote last week, in coup d'etat. So what do we do? I don't know. If we tried to organize anything, they'd pick us up, because they would know it as soon as we began. <laughs> I think, Alex, um, <clears throat> the only way out is collapse or else the rest of the world simply says we've had enough of being your lackeys your puppies uh and when puppets and we're not going to be paid by you any longer and we're going on without you and simply cease to pay any attention to us or to deal with us it's it's not like we've got much to offer you know we're the domestic market which the foreign countries liked for their exports is drying up because the incomes are drying up you know, you can't have a consumer economy on Walmart uh, part-time wages. <laughs> so as the ability of the uh, American economy to support uh, the kinds of consumption uh, levels that are associated with past American history, that's dying off. So our value to China and to uh, Taiwan and to Germany and the people who export here and have trade surpluses, which have been to their advantages in the past, that aspect uh, is is going away. So they may simply find it's too inconvenient or, or all the pressures to support a currency. And then you've got Israel with cruise missiles hitting Russian emplacements in Syria and Russia launching, you know, nuclear bombers openly with talk in Russia about nuking Israel. I mean, this really is one of those times like before World War II or World War I, but now we have nuclear weapons where the, the climate is there for a political tornado. It's very dangerous. Uh, it's, it's very dangerous. And um, the public is very slow in seeing this and waking up. Look, we've lost uh, habeas corpus. We, we've lost the right to life. But what are the only uh, rights that anyone's focused on? It's politically correct. Right. Hold on, I want we'll you to comment on that. Well, we got to go to break. Do five more minutes with us on the political correctness if you can. We'll okay. be right back. Okay, thank you. Well, I'm, I want to hear what you have to say on that. That's right. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. All right, going to do about five more minutes with Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. It's always hard to just get him on for two segments because he talks about so many important things. Then I'm going to hit news and uh, take phone calls. 
uh, into the next hour, 800-259-9231 for first-time callers on this Friday. First-time callers today, 800-259-9231. What do you think of uh, almost 4 billion rounds of AK-47 ammo? And the Pentagon admits they don't use that in combat, and they're just storing it in warehouses. And I looked into it. This isn't being shipped to Syria. That's separately going on. Uh, so just a lot of craziness to drop the market. What do you think about that? All the stuff that's going on, 800-259-9231. Dr. Roberts, uh, I didn't think to bring that up, but I mean, we concur on the whole social engineering. I've noticed they've replaced football issues of gay marriage and, oh, the racist white people mantra to divide and conquer. And then how about the right to not have... 85 billion a month in QE3 devalue our currency. How about the right to not, you know, have all these illegal wars to bankrupt our country and destroy our name? I mean, they have synthetically brought in all these fake issues. Quantify that, because I think you were starting to go there. Well, what I was saying, Alex, is all the important uh, civil liberties have been overturned. And what they've substituted are uh, homosexual and lesbian rights, that is marriage for homosexuals and lesbians, um, voting rights issues, and um, abortion, abortion rights. So these are the three civil liberties that are in the news that the country is worked up over either for or against. Uh, the Even the American Civil Liberties Union is mainly preoccupied with these issues and not with the destruction of the Bill of Rights. None of these issues, of course, are in the Bill of Rights. Uh, there have been efforts over the years to, uh, to sort of read them into it. Uh, and they, no doubt, are important to some people. But they're not important on the level of habeas corpus. Uh, they're not important on the level that the government cannot murder you. They can only execute you after a trial and evidence presented and you're being convicted well, all of these and you have due process in other words well these have been overturned and in, and you don't find any discussion of it in the media what you find discussion of is voting rights um, abortion rights uh, gay rights well this shows uh, you know the the supremacy or the success rather it shows a success of the police state and uh, substituting nebulous, uh, relatively unimportant issues for the United States Constitution. I'm glad you're saying that because no one else is really saying that but my show, and I know you've been writing about it, and that freaks me out that it's so clear the program they're using and that, and that, and that, and that the libertarian and conservative type groups aren't sophisticated enough to get it. I'm not bragging. I'm just shocked that we're smarter than most people. I'm, I mean, that's kind of freaks you out when you don't think you're that smart and you realize the general public and even other pundits aren't that, aren't that, uh, they're smart in ways, but they're, they're just not sophisticated. And then the, so there was always a real left in a way that was pro-civil liberty. They had some problems and things, but they were still pro-liberty. Now they're just a pure fascist club, and all they care about is that their black guy is in power, and it's really like a Hitler cult or something. I mean, isn't this the fall of a genuine left, what we've seen? I, yes, I don't think there is a left anymore. You know, um, a counterpunch, has, uh, which was the main sort of uh, intelligent left publication, uh, they have acknowledged that there's no longer a left. Um, and um, I think that's true. If, for that matter, they're not any real conservatives either. <laughs> they, they were replaced by the neocons. So the kind of way people of my generation, I notice that among lifetime friends, they still think like it's the liberals and the conservatives. And the liberals are doing that, they're not any. There's, there's a police state, and there are all these people who have these sorts of issues that are very important to them, but don't bear on the duration or the uh, ability to have a free society. So, I mean, we had a free society without having abortion rights or gay rights. Um, so, as I say, I'm not saying these are not important rights to some people. But it's a diversion on purpose being deployed. Uh, well, I mean, look at the 
Sure, sure. It's I a mean, diversion on purpose, exactly. But I mean, look right. at the CIA we've known has been involved in the media since it began. But now it's just, oh, we're going to run the media now and we're going to propagandize and use psych warfare. It's corporate, scientific, cold-blooded psych warfare, bottom line, destroying the foundations that let these corporations even develop to where all the rich people are having to get armored redoubts now because they stole their loot and stole and destroyed their own future. I mean, this I'm agreeing with you more and more that these people are just crazy. I mean, they have a weird cosmology framework of an excuse, but the truth is this new world order is just a bunch of crazy people. Yeah, they've used lies and deception to steal accountability of government from the people. And when you don't have an accountable government, that means you have a police state. That means the government is not subject to law. But the elite always get purged and robbed by their own groups. This is the worst climate, doctor. I know you're a historian as well. Tell me if I'm wrong. Isn't a tyranny a horrible climate for the elite as well? Yes, but they often lead into it because the initial part, they are controlling the government. You know, the, the powerful interest groups control the government and they use it for their own enrichment, but by making the government unaccountable, they enable the police state to rise up against which they're powerless. <laughs> you know, the, elite, the elites thought they were going to control Hitler. I can remember I had professors who were re refugees. Uh, they were Jewish refugees from, from uh, Hitler uh, when I was an undergraduate, and they they confirmed that the German uh, uh, business elites, including many of, of the Jewish uh, upper class people, uh, thought they would control Hitler and just use him for their own uh, advantage. <clears throat> but of course, uh, once you get uh, unaccountable power, then it can be used against you too. That's what the elites always overlook. Unbelievable, Dr. Roberts. Um, folks can find your new book at your website, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts' um, site. Again, folks, is absolutely vital. We carry his articles at Infowars.com, but paulcraigroberts.org uh, is the place to visit. And I, I have hope. I am seeing a bigger awakening. I'm seeing, I talked to somebody I know that works in the county government, and he said basically all the county buildings at lunch listen to me and they all know basically what's true and they're all freaking out. Every cop I come across, even in other cities, I mean everyone, even in England, I had the cops hugging me, not as a psyop, but saying we're awake. I had MI5 giving me info that turned out to be accurate. And, and I mean, you could tell uh, th these people were genuine. They're freaked out about their future. And, 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 but I hope there's some way now, I think that's why they're announcing NSA and the spying and the, the hit teams is to scare everybody and to scare not so much leakers or whistleblowers, but, but people in government who have moral authority from the inside with the public to say this is wrong. Snowden's crime is exposing what we already knew and saying it's illegal. Uh, it's not that he's leaking anything that wasn't secret in my view. Right. Well, you know, President Jimmy Carter said the other day that the United States no longer has a functioning democracy. To my knowledge, this was never reported in the United States, only in Germany by Der Spiegel. That's right. It was on one Georgia TV station and then Der Spiegel picked it up. And, and, and you would think a former president saying that, that you would hear that ever, but that shows the control, like the drills. Sure. That, go ahead. Right. No, it does. You're right. It shows the control. The, me the, the print and TV media are a propaganda ministry. That's all they are. You've made that point over and over. Amazing. Uh, just, just amazing. Uh, Dr. Roberts, uh, have a good weekend. And uh, we're just here uh, just trying to put out the SOS to the world, the messages in the bottle. And we just hope people at every level do whatever they can to just even passively slow down the wheels of this thing. And it's sad to say the best we can hope for is collapse. Well, keep it up, Alex. Uh, you have a big audience and you'll wake some more up. God bless you, thank you. Well, the, the, the behind the scenes attacks are really heating up. I'm not giving the enemy any intimidation coverage. I know they intend that, but uh, it's getting scary over here. So yeah, it's, it's definitely two minutes to midnight. Thank you, Dr. Roberts.
Pleased to talk to you, Alex. It was good to talk to you. And, and, and folks, I think you need to understand, you don't know how long shows like this will be on the air. I mean, we may hold them back. And when I see people in the alternative media, because they're COINTELPRO or cognitive infiltrators, like Sunstein talks about, or just, just been propagandized by this sick culture and are just jealous of anybody that sticks their head up and, and are Monday morning quarterbacking or backseat driving what I'm trying to do, nobody's a bigger critic of myself than I am on the real things I do, because I know this is for all the marbles, my family, your family, my life, your life, but I'm really in the, in the fulcrum. I mean, I'm in the maelstrom. I'm in the heart of it. And I know how real this is. I know how serious the, uh, the stakes are. But we're here trying to hold the New World Order back at the door, and they're ramming it. And, and now, I mean, there's big pieces of the, of the door knocked down. We're at the gates trying to hold it up. There's spears sticking through, stabbing political people. Reporters are being killed. Dirty tricks are happening. IRS is going after everybody. State, federal agencies are just messing with us 24-7. And I don't even give it attention. Just, just support us, folks, because believe me. Believe me, this is evil we're facing, and, and you've seen it. And, and, and you know, drums, drums in the deep, they are coming, they are here. And it's not on our doorstep, it's in our house now. And it's, it's moving quickly now, because it knows that humanity is waking up to it. We're in the fight, ladies and gentlemen, but this is not a game. This is not a game, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a joke. I just hope you understand words. I don't have words after I read 100, 200 articles a day I scan over or the video clips or all the research and preparation we do for the show and then I don't get to 10% of it because I'm mainly just marveling here on air. Just we're on, Everybody's under red level attack and, and I need you to wake up to that, especially new listeners. And, and we're here trying to hold it back where everybody's going, where's the new world order? Where's the spying you said? Where's the, and I'm like, where's the spying? Where's the tearing? The government's going to come get us, you said 18 years ago, and now they are? You're discredited. What you said came true. And they play these psych warfare games of nanny, nanny, boo, boo. You watch MSNBC or any of it. It's about, you're discredited. You said we bought bullets, and we did. You said there were blimps surveilling us, and we are, because you're a kook. You said the CIA is running weather warfare in America, and now it's in the BBC and Associated Press. You're, you're confirmed right again. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? I mean, it, it's just reached cuckoo level. It's reached absolute cuckoo crazy level. And I guess everybody else have been conformist. Maybe I have been a true individualist and have not been a conformist. I don't conform in my life. I conform to whatever seems natural, whatever seems wholesome. Um, and I mean, everything the New Order does stinks to high heaven. It's, it's, it's bad. Let me, let me tell you about some amazing uh, information, some really important information. And it also is super important because it funds our operation. And then I'll go to your phone calls and then in all the news. I'll get to the news next hour after I take some more of the calls. But uh, I want to settle down here and reset from kind of streaming the consciousness of reality here. Reality is so, so amazing. And I, I refuse to live in fantasy land. I'm not going to immigrate to fantasy land like half of my brethren in this country and people in other nations have done. I mean, I want to live in reality and make preparation for it, as Patrick Henry said. First off, Modifylon is an amazing thyroid booster, organ booster, hair, nails, everything. From all the scientists, doctors, pharmacists, Ben Fuchs, the health ranger, they all have recommended... Um, the brown seaweed that the Modifylon brand has uh, that's called uh, Komba or Kombu uh, by the natives. And this is from the Southern Hemisphere uh, down south of uh, Australia and New Zealand. And it's the best out there. And we have it at the best price at InfoWarsStore.com. And I take this three times a day. And it just gives me amazing energy. In fact, a lot of times now, I'll just have a Pollen Burst Plus and some of this. If I'm working until, say, 10 at night and then not drink coffee, and I don't have that headache and stuff that coffee gives me. Three pills a day is what I take. Uh, and then, of course, uh, they have the new, because it has you know over 100 ingredients, so it was really hard to say that it was uh, 
non-GMO and get it certified, even though most of it was non-GMO and organic, the old Beyond Tangy Tangerine that I like the flavor of. I like this flavor too. It's grown on me. At first, I liked the old flavor more. The, the peach uh, citrus fusion has now only been out a few weeks. It's already their best seller. InfoWarsHealth.com and get free shipping on it. Certified non-GMO, pesticide-free, whole food. Beyond Tangy Tangerine, citrus, peach fusion. The ultimate multivitamin mineral complex, whole foods, trace minerals, antioxidants, probiotics, prebiotics, amino acids, essential cofactors, uh, and more. 8,000 ORAC uh, total per serving. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is 100% natural, non-GMO organic, and it's available at InfoWarsHealth.com. You get the lowest price on it. You get free shipping when you sign up for auto ship. You pay a $10 thing like Costco does. You become a member and distributor and get even bigger discounts. InfoWarsHealth.com. And there's also a toll-free number uh, there on the site at InfoWarsHealth.com if you want to call and ask any questions or get help signing up. It's easy to do, but if you need any help, 888-789-9277, 888-789-9277. Make the commitment today. And, and with all the toxins of the environment and the rest of it, We've had the Clemson study on Beyond Tangy Tangerine, folks, the old one with the, what, 90-something percent killing of colon, cancer colon cells. That's Clemson, folks. These are real studies. Kind of mirrors what Linus Pauling got the Nobel Prize for. But the point is, is that this isn't a game. I promote the real deal here, okay? And I'm not going to say it's a cancer cure. It is undoubtedly preventative and something that everybody should be doing. So it's a win-win-win. InfoWarsHealth.com and also then purifying your water. We have the best prices on the ProPure system, the best gravity-fed stainless steel. See the side-by-side -side comparisons at InfoWarsStore.com. They've got the uh, Pro One filters that cut out the fluoride as well, all of it at once, or the older system that's just as good, but it's a little bit more. It's two systems uh, that you put together. And so it's all there. Uh, the ProPure, 10% off promo code WATER. You can also call here to our offices. You can get the books, videos, T-shirts, ask questions, or order the uh, Pro One um, Pro Pure Systems, 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139. And the number is also uh, up on the shopping cart, InfoWarsStore.com to get the Pro Pure. We'll be right back. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com show.